Hi all, greetings. Uh, this is Dr. Gopal Reddy. Our today's topic is electronic spectra of coordination compounds in the derivation of term symbols for D n ions. D n ions means that is D1 to D9. So let us come system. to the uh, derivation of ground state electronic configuration and the term symbols. Electrons are added to the d orbitals according to the Wundt's rule and Pauli's, Pauli's exclusion principle. That means so in the, according to Wundt's rules means so all the electrons are peeled one electron each with the sub each subshell then the pairing will be taking place and Pauli's exclusion principle states that no two electrons will be having all four quantum numbers same so that for the d1 system in octahedral geometry so the electrons are start peeling from lower energy to the higher energy in the octahedral uh, geometry we all know that T2G set will be occupies lower in energy and EG set will be occupies higher in energy because in the six ligands in octahedral complexes approaching to central metal ion, the loops are lying along the uh, axis that is EG set dx square minus y square and dz square will experience the more repulsion as compared to that of the T2G set so that these will be gain the energy and occupies higher position and the T2G set uh, orbitals called as uh, DXY, DYZ and DZ, uh, ZX which are lying in between the axes so that those do not experience any kind of repulsion and occupies lower in energy. So that this is a pattern will be splitting up D orbitals in the octahedral complexes. T2G will be occupies lower energy and EG will be occupies higher energy. Let us see how the electrons are start peeling off in these things. So if we come to the uh, D, DN system that is D1 to D9 system, uh, D1, D1 to D3, whether the ligand field is stronger or weaker, uh, there will be the peeling of electrons uh, does not make any sense. That is any difference. That is D1 to D3 and D8 to uh, D10 system. So it, there is no difference. But D4 to D7 system, it will make all the difference with the ligand field, whether the ligand is stronger or weaker. That is we are going to discuss in the coming slides. So if it is come to the D1 uh, uh, system, that is with an example, the titanium 3 plus, the first electron is going to peel to the T2G, which will be having chlorine energy. So the here they given T2G1, which one represents the uh, one electron. And here there are in a D2 system with the nadm uh, 3 plus an example. There are two electrons are there. All the two electrons are in the T2G set. And here the D3 system with an example chromium 3 plus and manganese 4 plus. There are three electrons are there. All the three electrons are peeled to the EG, uh, EG set, T2G set. There are three electrons are there here. And if we come to their term symbols, we can see out here 2TG, uh, 3TG. Three two, three and 4 ag so these uh, term symbols are varying with the degeneracy of the system as well their spin multiplicity, multiplicity and uh, symmetry label here here we can see this uh, here uh, g uh, g and g we can be this remains same why because uh, here uh, we are taken the uh, octahedral geometry which is central symmetry so there is their sign will be remain same when we rotate the, along the marker axis as well as to the 90 degree so that the symmetry is remain same so that uh, g represent garrett uh, so that we are getting g g here and these uh, two or three or four here so this is called as a spin multiplicity the spin multiplicity uh, which is given by the formula 2s plus 1 whereas s is a total electron spin so that if we are taken as for the d1 system there is a single electron is there so that to single electron for single electron it is plus up plus up into 2 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so spin multiplicity is 2 and here it is uh, 3 because there are two electrons are there plus up and plus up it is 1 1 into 2 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so the spin multipl multiplicity is 3 similarly here spin multiplicity is equal to 4 why because the resultant spin is equal to so 3 by 2 so then it is t t and a t represent you typically degenerate and uh, a represent the non degenerate also called as singly degenerate and e also will sometimes will come that is doubly degenerate here so we can see this de derivation of term symbol why this uh, two 
ಟಿ ಜಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿ ಒನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೈಟಾನಿಯಂ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಡಿರೈವ್ ದಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೊ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಎಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಫೈವ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ದರ್ ಆ ಫೈವ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ ಸಿಯ ಸಬ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ ಸಿಯ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಎಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಮಟ್ರಿಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೊ ವೆರ್ ಎಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ D term because L is equal to 0, it is S, L is equal to 1, it is P, L is equal to 2, it is D, L is equal to 3, it is equal to F, L is equal to 4, it is equal to D, uh, G and so on. So, L is equal to 2 which is corresponding to D term and there is 2 that is equal to spin multiplicity, what is 2 that you can mention here. Whereas, D term for the D1 system which is having the Mullikan symbols E, G and T, 2, G. when here uh, eg and t2g we can represent any one of this because it is when if it is less than half filled or less than completely filled then we can be mentioned as t and uh, if it is uh, completely half filled or completely filled then we can mention as e so that it is less than half filled so that we can mention as uh, tg here so d represent the symmetry similarly if we come to the d2 system there are two electrons are there they so that resultant spin is equal to 1 so their uh, spin multiplicity is equal to uh, 3 and similarly there are two electrons are there plus 2 and plus 1 so plus 2 corresponds to this electron and plus 1 corresponds to this electron plus 2 and plus 1 is equal to 3 so for 3 l is equal to 3 so it gives f term so that spin multiplicity is 3 so that it become 3 f so which is correspond to the a2g so t1g and t2g so that we are getting here so less than half will here so that we are getting t term here and similarly uh, it is a quite different example compared to these two so d3 system with an example chromium 3 plus and manganese 4 plus there are three electrons are there so this t2g set is completely half filled completely half filled so that so the three electrons are there plus two corresponds to plus two plus one and a zero so the resultant ml values is equal to three their spin is three by two and the spin matrix is equal to four so where the ground term is equal to f so f again corresponds to this but whereas here all the uh, t2g set will be uh, completely half filled so that we are mentioned as a so what are you given here come less than half filled it become t term and complete a pill term which can represent the so sorry it is uh, for e. E, e e can be mentioned here so it will be what uh, so completely degenerate here sorry f term no sorry this is a a, a term here a uh, g here which can be mentioned here similarly uh, d4 system so if it is d4 system it is quite different from uh, d1 d2 and d3 so in the d1 d2 and d3 uh, the ligand uh, nature does not make any difference but here so the uh, nature of the ligand will make out the difference in the filling of electrons here so if you consider the i spin complexes that is a weak ligand p uh, strong no? so weak ligand p so in the weak ligand field the splitting energy between the eg and t2g split is very small that is the pairing energy is higher than splitting energy so that the fourth electron will goes to the eg set instead of uh, pairing with any of these uh, electrons which are present in the t2g so that you can mention here among four electron three electron will goes to the eg t2g and one electron is goes to the so eg whereas come to the other hand uh, if it is a low spin complex that is a strong ligand field so all the four electrons are filling to the t2g set so their term becomes to uh, 3 uh, tg 
but here you can see you can make out the difference well, even with the uh, uh, change in the speed the resultant spin is equal to varies that is here it is equal to 2 because there are four unpaired electrons are here and here the resultant spin is equal to 2 because there are only two unpaired electrons here so as the number of unpaired electrons are varies their spin multiplicity is varies because that will be vary with the number of uh, unpaired electron uh, and ends the spin so that uh, the spin multiplicity also varies here 5 and here it is 3. So come to the derivation of term symbol for this d system. So there are 4 electrons are there and all are unpaid electron and here the 4 electrons which can be mentioned here. So which one is corresponding to plus 2, plus 1, 0 and minus 1. Minus 1 and plus 1 is getting cancelled. So the tail value is equal to 2. So and 4 unpaid electrons are there here. So that uh, it, uh, resultant spin is equal to 2 and uh, the spin multiplicity is equal to 5 so the term symbol is equal to uh, l is equal to 2 means it is term uh, d term so that uh, the multiplicity is equal to 5 so which is uh, you mentioned as 5d so similarly here it can be varies because there are only two unpaired electrons are there here so resultant spin is equal to 1 so their uh, spin multiplicity is equal to so it will be 3 but whereas see here so this is uh, completely uh, upheld and one electron here so that will be getting w degenerate that is each term here and here less than upheld or less than complete field so that you are getting uh, t2g uh, 3 uh, tg uh, term here similarly d pi uh, uh, system uh, ex with examples mn2 plus and p3 plus here it is high spin complexes and it is low spin complexes so weak ligand field and strong ligand field so weak ligand field uh, which can obey the wounds rule so here wounds rule does not obey so here amount of 5 electrons 3 is going to the t2g set and 2 is going to the eg set and here all the 5 electrons is going to the t2g that is t2g5 so which are completely uh, upheld so hence uh, it comes to the so s term here getting right thus let me see uh, let me show thus uh, out of five electrons so all are filled with the one electron each so that uh, their uh, ml values are getting cancelled each other so the final resultant ml value is zero as l is equal to zero which corresponds to s term and the resultant spin is uh, pi by 2 so so spin multiplicity is equal to 6 so that 6 s will term will be getting here so we are getting s is equal to uh, with respect to s the Mulcan symbol is a here so 6 a g we are getting here similarly it is varies uh, with the number of unpaired electron the spin multiplicity is equal to 2 here similarly uh, d6 system so in the d6 system uh, in the again uh, same as the previous what we discussed so it is uh, uh, high spin complexes that is a weak ligand field it is a low spin complexes is a strong ligand field so the filling up electrons are varies here the four unpaired electrons are there here there is no unpaired electron here all are paired up here so four electrons is going to t2g and two electron is going to the eg and here all six electrons are uh, filling to the so t2g set so that uh, here uh, in the derivation of term symbol so after after five electrons the sixth electron is going to paired up so that uh, here you're getting uh, two plus two is four uh, it is one zero minus one and minus two so final uh, when you sum up all the values we are getting uh, only plus two is equal to l is equal to two and resultant spin is equal to there are only four unpaired electrons are there because here uh, there are two electrons are paired up their spin uh, getting annihilated that means cancelled each other and uh, four electrons are there uh, out of four electrons when you sum this thing uh, four so it will become equal to uh, two and uh, spin multiplicity multiplicity is equal to five so the term is equal to five d so d corresponds with the uh, these values so again it's less than upward it is uh, t uh, g term and if it is uh, completely uh, uh, paired up that will be else we'll be getting at a yeah. and these are the some ground terms of the d1 d0 to d10 configuration which i mentioned here d1 to d9 with an example uh, of titanium 3 plus, vanadium 3 plus, chromium 3 plus, chromium 2 plus, also the so on so uh, copper 2 plus, and their ground terms also, which I mentioned here, uh, with their ML values uh, and their uh, spin. Here, you can one thing you can find out here. So, D1 system and D9 system. See now, D1 system will be having 2D, and D9 system also having 2D. 
D2 and uh, D8 system will be having 3F and D3 and D7 will be having 4F. D4 and D6 systems will be having 5D and D5 alone will be having 6S. So that so 2 2 that is D1 and D9 will be having same term. D2 and D7 will be having same term. D3 and D7 will be having same term. D4, D7, D6 will be having same term. And D5 uh, will be having different uh, term. Okay. So this is the derivation of uh, ground term. So with the different uh, uh, D configuration. So thank you. Thank you very much.